this is good. Mistakes have been made. I don't like that. Yes. Oh boy. No, 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 no. I don't know what's happening. Oh my gosh. Oh bother. Oh bother. This video has waited months to be filmed. Since September 2022, this video has sat on the back burner through my own case of procrastination. I have not gotten around to filming this video, but today is the day we're trying biscuits and gravy. I'm so excited about it. So I'm sure you can already tell from the title and the thumbnail, I'm trying some American foods like typical American foods that you see if you ever watch any Americans vlog or go about their day, they'll talk about these foods and you're like, hmm, I don't know what that really tastes like. So Carrie and Alexa came over and Carrie, if you are watching, I am so, so grateful for you. And I will have a link to her channel down below. She filled her suitcase with American sweets, which if you haven't seen that video, I will link that down below. It looks like this. And also American foods. The main one for me, being biscuits and gravy, but the main one for other people maybe being s'mores. So I'm gonna be making s'mores, biscuits and gravy, mug treats, mac and cheese. And then she also bought me some everything seasoning, which goes on a bagel. So I bought a bagel and I bought cream cheese because in my mind, I'm pretty sure that's how it goes. I think they go bagel, cream cheese, everything seasoning. I've literally wanted to try this since like 2012 when the Shaytards were like a massive thing and they spoke about buttermilk biscuits. I don't know if anyone else remembers that, but I've wanted to try it since then. So it's been 11 years and I finally get to try biscuits. This is what the packet looks like. And if you are British, then they very much look like scones. I have no idea if they taste similar. I mean, when Carrie had a scone, she wasn't exactly like, oh yeah, it tastes exactly like a biscuit. So I don't know if they taste the same, but then in America, they cover them with gravy. Not normal gravy though, white gravy. Again, if you're British, our gravy is usually brown. Our cheese sauce is white but not our gravy. What is 450 degrees Fahrenheit in degrees Celsius? It is equivalent to 232.222 degrees Celsius. That's quite high. I'm thinking that's for a conventional oven, not a fan oven. So I'm gonna take it to 10. I'm probably wrong, but I feel like 230. I might even just do 200. 230 seems pretty darn high. Immediately removed from the cookie sheet. I'm gonna forget to do that. This doesn't take too long at all. So let's get the biscuits made. Lovely. Baking tray is prepared. There's, there's like little pieces of something in here. I don't know what that is. It looks a little bit like white chocolate and it feels very starchy. Can you see these little white things? I don't know what they are. I realized during this video, I'm going to have to do my best to try and explain the taste of these things in the best way I can and try and compare them to British things that we have. I'm gonna do my best, but no promises it'll be good. Now, if you've been following me for a while, you'll know that I've used this whisk for a very, very long time. Apparently, went viral on TikTok as like a new thing. Not a new thing, had one for years. Although then again, I say that, there are multiple times I've been excited about something that's new on TikTok. And there are a lot of you commenting like, I had that when I was a child. So it feels more like cake than it does like scone mix. Maybe put too much water in. Okay. <laughs> this is really gooey. Drop dough onto cookie sheet. I don't know if it's meant to be like this. Six servings per pouch. So I need six of these. It's a very strange way of doing things, but okay. I feel like this first one was, oh bother, oh bother. I don't know if you can see what's just happened, but it's a mess. Oh, I've missed the baking sheet. My aim is not good. This is good. Look how close these two are. Now, normally I would just move this one a bit further away. Turns out extremely sticky, can't pick it up. They seem a little like cake dough with white chocolate chips and they're very sticky and smell a little bit like corn flour. That's how we're looking so far. Now this goes in the oven for eight to 11 minutes. Is that what you said? I'm gonna go ahead and make some country gravy mix. Gradually stir in a cup of cold water. I have an electric hob um, and that doesn't come to boil very fast. I'm gonna take a smell and see what this smells like. It smells a bit peppercornish. I honestly thought biscuits and gravy were like partially sweet. This is pretty savory. So how are you? How is your day going? What have you been up to? I'm starving. I'm so excited for biscuits and gravy. What's this for? <gasps> What am I adding this to? <gasps> what did I add to that? I'm so confused. How is there? 
Oh my gosh. <gasps> okay, seriously confused right now. Wait, am I meant to add the rest of this to this? Oh my goodness. I've done this seriously wrong and now it's stuck to the bottom. I am so silly. I don't think I added all the water. Oh no. I am so ridiculous. Mistakes have well and truly been made over here. I think I may have saved it. <laughs> just about. This is getting thick, which I think is good. I think it's meant to be thick. The biscuits look good. They're browned. I'm just giving them a couple of extra seconds. You know when you normally bake and you open the oven and it smells of sweet treats? This smells of like nothingness. Immediately removed from the cookie sheet. I'm gonna forget to do that. They look kind of like a cheese muffin. This is my buttermilk biscuit and it's kind of squidgy. It is nowhere near as dense as a scone. It's almost like plain basic sponge. Oh, that is salty. Oh, mm. I don't know what's happening. I don't dislike it, it's just new. Texture, kind of spongy, but a little sticky in like a, once it's moist in your mouth, it's like stuck to the roof of your mouth, kind of sticky. Flavor, kind of like bread. Ooh, look at that. This is what it looks like up close. A little scone with cheese sauce on it, basically. Why? Mmm. <laughs> it's actually quite good. I actually... I quite like it. Mmm. -hmm. Oh my gosh. Yes. Just because of the word biscuit, I, and because it looks like a scone, I was just unable to let go of this. It's going to be sweet. It tastes very much like a very, very mild peppercorn sauce on top of like a savory muffin, kind of. I'm gonna give it a good seven out of 10, would happily eat it again. It's pretty tasty and I'm excited for Nick to come home and try one. I'm really, really hoping I haven't got this wrong, but Carrie bought over some everything but the bagel sesame seasoning blend. That was a lot more of a mouthful than I thought it was gonna be. I feel like people just call this the everything seasoning, but it is actually everything but the bagel sesame seasoning blend with sea salt, garlic and onion. And I feel like it's quite a big deal. I feel like people talk about this quite a lot and they basically make a bagel I've seen people do it with like cream cheese and like salmon and then sprinkle this or avocado and sprinkle this it's kind of just make yourself a bagel and sprinkle um or at least I think it is from my memory and we all know my memory isn't great Ooh, oh do you know what I just got hit with you know when you buy garlic seasoning it's got a really strange smell that doesn't really taste garlic until you cook with it this kind of has that smell, but I'm not even gonna be cooking it. So I'm wondering, Oh, I just got a hint of sesame. I always forget how much I like cream cheese or be bold and sprinkle on a plain bagel with cream cheese. Be bold? Why is that being bold? Why is that being bold to just put it on a bagel with cream cheese? I thought that's what the point was. The toaster takes so long when you're hungry and excited for food. I would really like my bagel around now. Got our cream cheese. <gasps> That is hot on the thumb. It looks kind of how I expected it to. So, well, that is a treat. I get it. I understand. Mm. Oh boy. Oh boy. That is pretty yummy. I can't stop eating it. It's just really, really good. Solid eight out of 10, maybe pushing on nine. That was delicious. I don't think we necessarily have anything similar to this in the UK but I feel like this would be pretty easy to just make yourself if you have a spice cupboard. And if you don't have a spice cupboard, if you just went out and purchased some spice, the main flavors that I'm picking up on are garlic and onion seasoning, a little bit of sea salt every now and again. It says that it also has sesame seeds and poppy seeds. I'm not really tasting those so much. It is delicious. I'm gonna have the other half of this bagel. No, because I've got a lot more food to eat. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna have the other half of this bagel. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Then we have mug treats. Now these are Betty Crocker, which I know we have Betty Crocker in the UK. Love a little bit of Betty Crocker. She makes a great brownie mix. However, I've never seen a mug treats. It might be new. And I'm sure if this does exist in the UK, I'm gonna get comments about it, but I haven't seen Betty Crocker mug treats. So we have the mix and the frosting. Let's make a mug cake. Empty the cake mix into a microwave safe mug. We can do that. Three tablespoons of milk coming right up. I've just realized that if you are American watching this, 
I'm making food that is very, very normal to you. I have to say, I really enjoyed the bagel when I ate it. The aftertaste isn't great. Like, my mouth really does taste like when you open the cap of garlic seasoning and give it a sniff. Just that sort of like, fake. I really thought I put this in the fridge. No. Nope. <laughs> no, I put this in the fridge instead. My brain is not working properly. Oh, it smells good. It smells delectably delectable. We get to squidge this out on top of it. Interesting. It's a lot more goopy than our um, butter icing type stuff. We have our mug cake. It took one minute in the microwave. And let's see what this tastes like. Ooh. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Mm -mm. Oh no, 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 no. The sponge has almost no taste whatsoever. The icing stuff is like the most artificially flavored sugary taste ever. Like it is so, if you're American, you have to remember I'm making these judgments as a British person. There is every chance you taste that and it tastes just like sugar to you. But to me, as a British person where all of our stuff has like no artificial sugars or flavorings or colors or anything, that doesn't taste like sugar. It tastes like fakeness. Does this say no artificial flavoring? I expected more from Betty Crocker. That is not good. Oh my gosh, the colors are actually listed on here. It's got yellows five and six, red 40, blue one, yellow lakes five and six, red lake 40, blue lakes one and two. I have never seen colors on the back of a food item in the UK. I'm pretty sure in the UK, if things are like on the pink to purpley spectrum, they're colored with like beetroot. And if they're green, they're colored with, oh, I did know this. I did know this. That's interesting, that's gross. I'm sorry, Betty Crocker, and I'm sorry anyone who likes this, but that is not great. I'm gonna put this to one side. We're gonna move on. Mac and cheese in a box. I'm pretty intrigued to see what this tastes like because it is a box mix. It does go off in, ooh, 10 days from now. I am not in any way saying that this does not exist in the UK because it could do. I personally haven't seen it, and if it does exist, I feel like in the UK, we don't necessarily call it mac and cheese. Whereas in America, I feel like a lot of children are bought up on mac and cheese. I feel like in the UK, it's like chicken dippers and dinosaurs. We're basically cooking the pasta and then mixing in butter, milk, and cheese sauce. I mean, it's a pretty simple, it's a pretty simple pasta recipe. I don't feel like you need to watch me do that, but I will film my reaction to eating the macaroni cheese and hopefully, tastes better than that mug cake, but also I'm starting to feel ever so slightly sick. Oh my goodness, they're tiny. Look at these. I don't know if you can see those. I was expecting, I almost thought this was like to size. These are so small. It says on this box, inside you'll find happy childhood memories. Now I'm not too sure what biscuits these are because Carrie got me these, which is what I'm assuming a Graham crackers or Graham crackers. Uh, that was a terrible accent, I apologize. I don't know what these are. I looked up a British s'mores recipe and they were like, oh, try using a digestive biscuit. It's the closest thing. So I feel like these are gonna taste sweet, but they look an awful lot like Rivita. These, I don't know where these have come from. So Primark, if you're watching, which I'm pretty certain you're not, Please let me know what these are and where I can get them. Okay, mac and cheese is cooking, but I'm very quickly going to try and unbox the s'more maker. Oh, it looks lovely because it says it takes five minutes to heat. So I want to kind of get it set up and going. Ooh. Ah, okay, things are going wrong. Is that meant to sit in there like that? Make sure it's flat and the food tray is, oh. Does the food tray go the other way up? Where's the box gone? Okay, that works. So this has got to heat up for four to five minutes. So I'm just gonna put this on um, while I cook the rest of my mac and cheese. This is apparently for three people, which to me is just really, oh my goodness, how yellow is that cheese sauce? That is so vibrant. That is so vibrant. I don't know if that's coming across on camera, 
but that is some serious orange food coloring. It doesn't say to then cook it with this added in. So I guess this is done. Mac and cheese now looks a little less orange and we're gonna try and see what this tastes like. I know what this tastes like. This tastes just like the little, is it Dairy Lee triangles? The little cheese triangles. This tastes almost exactly like that, but just with tiny pieces of pasta in it. I can see why people like it. I can also see why it's quite an easy throw together snack. That's pretty tasty. I kind of want to see if there's food colors in this. Oh, there's vitamin B and iron. That's not too bad. I'm gonna give it a five out of 10. I do like it, but I probably wouldn't choose unless I was really, really hungry to make this over something else. Our s'mores maker is ready. So how do you make a s'more? But I think you just go graham cracker, bit of chocolate, and then just like toast a marshmallow and put it in between. <gasps> oh, this did not travel well. This is <laughs> very much melted, but I mean, it smells like chocolate, so we're gonna go for it. Ooh, oh look, it's the perfect size. There's a lovely little picture on here of what we're aiming for. So I have my two graham crackers. One of them has a bit of chocolate on there and then I'm gonna stab this marshmallow. We're gonna toast it and then shove it in between. Now, I do feel like I should say very briefly, I don't love marshmallows. So I might not like this, but I feel like I just want the fun of making one. I might not actually like how this tastes. Toasting my marshmallow. This is a very slow process, it turns out. I think I've roasted a marshmallow one time around my friend's house, once. And it was over naked flame. So I mean, it basically caught a light and went black. Um, this is, oh, oh, we have a little bit of brown happening. This is taking so long though. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no! Ah! Um, this is happening. It, the, the fork does not want to support the marshmallow anymore. So I've marshmallowed and now, oh, I should have put the marshmallow on top of the chocolate. I've made a mistake. Things have gone wrong. Mistakes have been made. I'm putting the chocolate on top here. Squashing, squash it. Oh boy. <laughs> oh bother. Um, I think my marshmallow is too big. It's the perfect size. Look at the size of the marshmallow squash. Uh, mistakes were well and truly made. Look at the size of this. I'm just gonna turn this off. I don't think I'll be making another one of those. Don't think I like Hershey's. Let me try a little bit more of this. Don't really like Hershey's. The biscuit's okay. No, it's not. This was just a whole lot of no. I looked forward to this for the longest time. I have now cut the roof of my mouth and the base of my mouth. Like I bit into it and the biscuit just scratched me. And I spent 20 pounds on a machine that I won't be using again. I am a little bit sad. I'm gonna rate that a solid three out of 10. I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I have not said that, I don't think, in a very long while. No idea what it does. I don't think it does anything these days, but if you could just click it for me anyway, so I can see your little thumbs and leave me a comment. I will try and respond to as many as I can and I will see you very, very soon. Bye.